we are actually bilingual, but because we speak English to each other, she said no. Amanda and Emmanuel have been trying for two years to become parents. They're on multiple foster waiting lists, and with no luck in the Laval region, they reached out to Montreal, only to be told that their application was rejected because they speak English. She said, well, you guys are an Anglophone household, so no, you can't apply to Youth Protection Montreal you should try applying to Batshaw instead. Back in September 2019, the couple had their first information session at Youth Protection in Laval and were told they had to pass a written exam. They received an email one week later saying they were removed from the list because they hadn't completed the exam on time. So they said no and that we had to re-sign up for another information session. And I was upset because it took us a year almost to even go to the first information session. In October, Amanda saw Youth Protection Montreal posting this online, saying they are seeking families to foster babies as little as two days old. But because the couple lives in Laval, they needed a letter, an exception to be eligible to foster a child in Montreal. But when she called in Montreal, she was told they cannot apply because they speak English at home. I said, I understand if the child is of a certain age where it might be difficult for them if they're not bilingual, but a baby doesn't, you know, I just didn't think it was as necessary for us to be francophones to take care of a baby. Yeah, it is shocking that they find closed doors everywhere. You know, I mean, they, they call and they get the, the, the uh, excuse of language, then they get the excuse of, of region. And, you know, put yourself in their place. They are trying to help. The Montreal Health Authority told City News that Youth Protection Montreal's mandate is to serve the Francophone and Allophone communities. Those who speak English are redirected to Batshaw Youth and Family Services, where they help English-speaking couples. But Amanda and Emmanuel weren't eligible to be on that list either because they live in Laval. A worrisome situation, says this lawyer. I can tell you that there are regions where we have uh, a lack of families of foster homes. And I, I'm really surprised that there is not one center list where you have all the names of the foster parents that are available. So this is what is shocking. At a loss for words, Amanda says she isn't sure what to do next. Well, that's really, yeah. I feel no yeah. hope for sure. I feel like there's nothing. I've, I've done everything I could. I tried I, everything. City News reached out to the Ministry for Health and Social Services, but did not hear back in time for broadcast. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.